All right, your girl Erin Ray out here, and I got Miss Banks, Miss Busted. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? How you feeling? Good, good, good. How are you? Good. I know you tired. I know this weekend yeah. was crazy. <laughs> it was. It was a lot going on. Well, you look good, though. Thank you don't you. look tired. <laughs> That's good. That's good. That's good. <laughs> and we going to get into it, girl, because I know we are st- busted, still yeah. moving. Still yeah. moving. Like, yeah. is, is this your biggest record right now? It is. It's my biggest wow. record. Yeah. Wow. And you, 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 you really doing it. So I definitely want to say congrats to that. Thank you. But I know... Before it hit that challenge, you know, people was not trying to rock with you like mm-hmm. they should have. And once the song did, you know, go crazy, he mm-hmm. was like, look, I told y'all this was a hit. Yeah. Y'all try to play with me. And people didn't feel you was humble. Like, right. how do you feel about that? And, like, what was your thoughts when you actually, like, was tweeting out those things? Um, I was just being real. I was just being me. Um, that's all I know how to do, you know. Mm-hmm. So I was just speaking my mind. And um, when Busted did blow up, it was a surprise to me. It's something I didn't expect. So when it did, I was just like, you know, like you say, like I tried to tell y'all, you mm-hmm. know. But um, no, nah, I'm just, I'm just grateful that the record is doing what it's doing. Yeah, and you know, um, it's always those records that people don't think is gonna right, do nothing right. that blow up. Absolutely. And it's always hard for people to come after that record. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I mean, me personally, I'm not. Uh, worried about that um, just because matter of fact I actually have my follow up single but Mm -hmm. me just being an artist I just know you know what to do and how to do it so I don't really worry about the next song yeah okay but you got it ready though yeah cause we gonna we trying to have a cool little summer like what's your summer gonna be called cause I'm just gonna go ahead and claim that it's Erica Banks summer what what type of summer you giving us you know what? It's gonna be a banked out summer. Oh, yeah, period. Let's yeah, go. you know, just, just, you know, everything is banked out. You know, the boss way. It sounds very boss like. So that's what we gonna go. Yeah, with. that's giving what it needs to give. Yeah. I like that. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and being one of our like natural ladies, still. Um, mm-hmm. let me ask you because a lot of women are getting their bodies done to kind of like keep up. Yeah. Do you feel the pressure to do that? I don't feel the pressure to do anything. Um, I know it's trendy and it's what women are doing, but I don't necessarily feel like you have to do that to keep up. Mm-hmm. Um, now, am I going to do it? Oh, yes, indeed. Why? But I'm doing are it, you? I'm doing it for me uh-huh. because I genuinely want to do it, not because I feel like, oh, I got to do this because I'm in the industry. Like, nah, I'm doing it because that's what Erica Banks wants to do. But Erica Banks, you look good, sis. But, yeah, I... <laughs> So what you want like a, just a bigger booty or something? That and I don't have no chest. I don't like me that. either. You know I ain't gonna lie to you. I, I go back and forth with I'm gonna get my breasts done. Yeah, like I'm not even a C. Yeah. Like what? That's a joke. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like. So that. you said uh uh-uh, uh we get it all done. We gonna just enhance it a little bit. Okay. Yeah. What can we expect that then? Um. Soon and very soon. Oh, uh, so this is the banked out summer. Okay. <laughs> yeah, when you banked out, you got to go to the bank and get the bread and, and go do out. it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay, I can feel that, though. And I'm, I'm happy that you're saying that you're doing it for you, not for, right. you know, the industry or anybody else. Right, right. So that's all that matters. Yeah. You know, and being from, you know, the suburbs in, you know, Dallas. Now, I did read something that intrigued me about you. What? You know, they say... Uh, the kids from the suburbs a little freaky. Oh wow! What? And <laughs> I did hear that you like you know both women mm. and men. Yes, and identify as bisexual, right? Right. Okay. So when did you know that you were you know bisexual? Oh Lord, <laughs> we got stenosis. <laughs> oh Lord, girl, I was like, uh, like fifteen. Really? I was in high school. Yeah. Was, was it like 15. an experimental thing, or you just kind of knew? No, I just knew. Mm-hmm. It's it's kind of weird. I just, one day I was just like, hmm, you know what? I think it wouldn't sound bad to do that with a girl. Ah. <laughs> and then, you know, once I did try it out, it was to my liking. And I was just like, you know what? I do like both. So, yeah, I was 15, just trying stuff. And, yeah, I liked it. So was it just like something you did? Or was that like your girlfriend? Uh, no, nah, I didn't do the girlfriend thing until I was uh 21. Oh, really? Like, but, yeah, before that, I was just having fun. Because I know I have actually, I have friends that, you know, claim to be bisexual as well. Mm-hmm. But they don't ever want to be in a relationship with a woman. They just want to, you know, have the experience. Yeah. I mean, some <laughs> people are like that. Yeah. You know, everybody different. Some people want to do the girlfriend thing. Some people just want to have fun. Me, I did both. Um, but, yeah, I mean, everybody has their own 
likings. Yeah. yeah. And you know, also too, like we said, you you know, you grew up in the suburbs, your mom and dad thought you were gonna be a nurse. You right. decided and eh, eh, that's right. not me. I'm right. going a different route. What other talents, like if you wasn't a rapper, mm-hmm. would you think that you would be doing? Would you like went have went ahead and have been a nurse? I would have followed through with school. I probably wouldn't have been a nurse. Um, I just started realizing that nursing wasn't something I really wanted to do. Mm-hmm. Um, so I actually ended up changing my major to business management. So I probably would have did entrepreneurship or just, you know, open businesses, stuff like that. I probably wouldn't have went that route. Yeah. And, you know, um, because I know a lot of people, especially young like you, getting into the industry, don't know much about it. Do you think that schooling that you did have kind of helped you know a little bit more like, um, we're not doing this? Um, yeah, I think um, – even outside of school, I think just going to college, it gives you different uh, different experiences. Mm-hmm. You get to meet different people, see different things. Um, so I think that it's, it's a very important thing, you know, to at least try. Yeah, so. definitely. And also, because you are compared to a lot of different people, mm-hmm. you know, one particular on your, um, your label. Mm-hmm. What would you say to people like, I'm Erica Banks? Like, I mean, because, you know, people try to compare the fact that y'all both was in school, that y'all both on the same label, y'all both from Texas and got yeah. that Texas swing. Like, what set, I mean, because I can, I know, clearly I can see what sets you apart from, you know, all those different things. But what would you say to people like, this is what really sets me apart. This is who Erica Banks really is. Um, My personality, for one, um, and then my versatility with my music. Um, I think that's what sets me apart from a lot of artists, just my versatility. Uh, I don't just rap, you know, um, and I don't just have, like, the club music, the turn-up music. But people will only know that if they're really tapped into my music. So Mm -hmm. for those who are, then they know, you know, what I'm like or what I'm not like, and they know the big difference between me and any artist. So you just got to be tapped into my music for real to know that. Period. Let them know. Okay. And so we excited for the music to come. And I'm excited for this summer. I can't wait to even post a picture with us with the caption baked out. Period. Period. Okay. You gotta have a purse with the bag inside though. You can't have the purse empty with with that, you know, hashtag. So yeah. (laughs) Yeah, because it was a lot of girls this weekend with the pat the bag with no money inside. Yeah, with no money. And that's not it. That's That's not not the way. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Uh -uh. Well, thank you so much. I'm so excited because I really wanted to to meet you. I was like, I well, like I'm glad Erica. we got to meet you. Yes. I'm glad. So I'm definitely um, excited. And things that people say about you, like your personality, I can kind of see that. So, yes, yeah. yeah, they say good things about you. I'm <laughs> glad. I'm glad. Ain't nobody made me magic. I'm glad. Oh, you see, that's what we don't do. No, no, no. Yeah, but I'm glad. That's good.